Hey guys, so I'm back. <laughs> As you can see, my hair is just, it looks a hot mess. I do not like it. Um, it's still kind of, it's still kind of hard, like, and it just don't look good. And I'm scared to like comb it or brush it or anything for fear that um, I might start snapping off my hair. So I decided I'm just gonna do the whole process over. I'm gonna wash, deep condition, and then I'm gonna try the Proclaim without the leave-in. Cause I was, as I was out and about with my family, I was sitting back and I was thinking, um, you know, infusing, maybe I use too much of the leave-in because I don't know about y'all, but I've used Infusium for like a lot, a lot of years. Like even when I went to salons, they would put Infusium in my hair. But I noticed like when I use it, I don't know, I guess maybe I use too much. Um, sometimes I get that hard feeling after a roller set. and But I would only use Infusium for my roller sets. Like I wouldn't use a foaming wrap or any kind of setting lotion or anything else. I would just use the Infusium and then I would put the rollers in my hair. And usually I would put like an oil sheen. I would spray an oil sheen over the rollers after I did the roller set while it was still wet. And then I would sit under the dryer. And when I came out, you know, I had bouncy curls and stuff like that. So I'm thinking I just had maybe too much product on my hair. Maybe I shouldn't um, use the leave-in just because I know in the past, you know, like I said, I've used the infusion and I've had a little bit of hardness. So I also went back and um, watched my girl TJ's hair. That's the name of her channel. Um, I watched her channel and she does bomb roller sets. Like her roller sets always come out nice. She's been doing them for many, many years. And so I kind of went back to her, a couple of her videos and, um, you know, listen to what, listen to her wisdom. <laughs> and so basically she was saying that she doesn't put any leave-ins in her hair when she roller sets her hair. She just uses a foaming, um, or foaming wrap lotion and water in her hair. So that's when I said to myself, yeah, well, maybe I'm using, maybe I don't need the leave-in and basically just need a, a real good deep conditioner um, that's, you know, really moisturizing to my hair and just try the, the setting lotion like that instead of the leave-in. Now, I've never not used a leave-in. Um, I have used, like, this is what I normally use. This is like my holy grail of leave-ins is this elastic up and i may try it again well i am going to try it again using this and um a foam a foaming lotion because i just i don't know how i feel about not putting a leave-in in my hair <laughs> um doing a roller set but i'm not gonna try that this time because the whole um the whole idea of the video was to be comparing foaming lotions so I'm gonna, I didn't throw it away yet. I still have this Proclaim Foam and Lotion, Wrap Lotion here. Um, I'm gonna try it again without the leave-in conditioner and we're gonna see how it comes out. If it comes out crunchy this time, then I know that it's the setting lotion because I'm not gonna put anything else in my hair after, um, like after I wash it. I'm just gonna go ahead, put this in and start roller setting my hair. So, <laughs> With all that said, let me go wash my hair and I'll be back when I um when I'm ready to roll this out. So I go though, sorry. <laughs> um while I was out, I did go to the beauty supply store and I bought a couple of things. Um y'all saw me with the purple rollers. Well, I went by the, the store and I bought the gray rollers. Remember in my haul video, I got those super big I, I don't know, I think they were great too, but those beer can size rollers, this is the size that I meant to get. And I don't have my purple rollers with me, but I'll show y'all when I get ready to wrap my hair, um, you know that this is like the next size up from the purple rollers. So I bought two of these, okay? And these were $2.49 at the beauty supply store that I went to. This beauty supply store is not around where I live. I went like across town. And it's like my favorite beauty supply store. I haven't been there in a long time. But when I was in there, I realized how much I missed that store. So I'll be going back over there probably this week. Um, then I also got a brush. This is like a soft bristle brush. It's really, really soft. I wanted to get another brush because 
the other brushes I'm using, I'm noticing that it's like kind of pulling my hair out, especially in the front. And I don't want my edges to be getting thin, especially with this color. It's going to be easier um, for my hair to just be snapping off. So I wanted to get a soft bristle brush. So I got that. And then the last item I got was just some more plastic caps for when I sit under my heated dryer for me and my boys because I do do condition their hair too. And I'm running low on these. And um, I always like to get this like multi-pack, this big jumbo pack. I think there's like... 10 in each roll so that's like 30 caps so i always like to buy this because i like to have these in here but that's all that i bought from there um i probably do probably get some more products the next time i go i can't wait to go but um i do want to get some different leave-ins um because i don't know i think my hair just likes the creamy leave-ins but i do want to try some other liquid leave-ins and um i don't know if i'll be I probably try roller setting too, but without the foaming lotion. Like this is all experimentation, y'all. Like I said, I'm just trying um, new and different products. So I am still gonna use um, liquid leave-ins, but like I won't use it with a combination of the foam, the the leave-in and the foaming lotion. Um, but we'll see if that's really what's going on after this roller set. All right, I hope I'm making sense. But yeah, I'll see y'all when I'm ready to roller set. Hey y'all, so I'm back. So I just finished um, deep conditioning and rinsing out. Um, basically, I co-washed again with my Pantene, okay? And I'm gonna say after I washed out, you know, that stuff out of my hair, the way my hair was feeling, my hair did feel a little bit stronger. So I'm wondering if that Jayco, Joyco, really did do something because my hair just felt stronger it didn't just feel moisturized because like this is a, a moisturizing conditioner which is great um and that's what you're supposed to do after like a protein treatment and um you know that's like protein and stuff so i'm wondering if maybe i just didn't have enough um, moisture you know put back into my hair after doing that for 30 minutes um, cause it felt real strong after I washed with this. So after washing with this, I deep conditioned with this this time. And I have used this before. I really like this stuff. It's called Crece Pelo. And it's a, um, it's a Dominican product. I got it online on Amazon. And you can see reviews of this, um, all online. Um, yeah, this is good stuff. It smells really good. I need some hair in here. I use this on my hair and on my kids' hair, and that's what it looks like. It's really thick. It's nice and creamy. Um, it's not that thick. It's not, you know, some conditioners are really, really thick, but this is not, like you can see, it's a little, it has a nice consistency to it. But it smells really good. It lingers in your hair. It definitely lingers in your hair. It has like a soapy smell, soapy clean smell. But it's really good it's supposed to be like a growth treatment but um it's a really good deep conditioner for your hair i like it i really enjoy it and so after uh washing well rinsing that out i did a, another rinse with this you know just like a once over rinse to make sure i got everything out with my trusty aussie moist i love this stuff y'all i use this pretty much i've been using this pretty much for for the last few washes for me and my boys over the past i say i say all summer we've been using it and um so this bottle is now empty because i just used the last of it on myself so i just you know after i rinsed out the deep conditioner i did another just a conditioner quick rinse with this and now this is what you see so now i'm just gonna go ahead and start roller setting my hair with only the proclaim um foam wrap so I have that here. <laughs> We're gonna try this again. These are the rollers I'm gonna be using this time, probably in conjunction with the purple ones. These are the purple ones. You see how it's a little bit bigger? And my hair needs this size. These is just, i am just outgrown these y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna be using these and let me get started. I'm not gonna do the whole roller set because y'all already know what a roller set looks like. So yeah, I'm just gonna, um, actually I might just part it in the middle this time and do it like that. 
just to kind of save time because it's like seven o'clock now. And in between doing my hair and preparing dinner, I've been doing my youngest hair because he um, spent the night out at a friend's house. He's been gone since Friday and he just came home today. So I was able to wash my big boy's hair yesterday. And so I braided him up and everything today before we went out. Then, you know, hoping that my hair would already be done too, but go figure. Um, but at least he's done. So now all I have to do is just braid him up. He's like in the in the air drying process right now. So, yeah. Man, I really want to put some leave-in conditioner on my hair. I'm just like not feeling, not having any leave-in on my hair. But let's let's go with it, okay? Let's just try this and see how this works. So I'm just gonna part this in the front. Some of this foam. And this, I forgot to tell y'all how this smells, but this, mm, to me, it smells like medicine-y. Like, I don't know how to, I don't know what else to say, how else to describe it, but to me, it has a medicinal kind of smell to it, so that's another reason, I guess, why I didn't really, I was so ready to just trash it because I don't really care for the smell, so. Yeah. But it's a foam setting lotion, so we'll just see how it goes this time. And I'm not a stickler on like it being too bone straight or anything. I just um, like to make sure I get it rolled because I'm gonna be wrapping it anyway. So yeah, I just feel like it's easier. To, my hair is easier to work with when I have a leave in. Right now it's just, it's a little bit tangled, but with this foam, I think the foam is helping. It helps. So I just won't comb it before I put the foam lotion on there. So and hopefully my hair will dry a little bit quicker with these bigger rollers. The more air can get through. y'all so i'm just gonna keep on doing this to my whole head it's gonna be pretty much the same on both sides i'm gonna do the front one like that and then the rest, i'll have, probably have like one or two more here and then i'll do the back and then the same thing on this side okay y'all so i'm finished with the roller set i'm gonna go get under the dryer now and um yeah, hopefully when I take this out, we should be good to go. We shouldn't have any hard, crunchy hair, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see how this is gonna come out. All I used was, this is just water in this bottle. Like, I, I love this stuff. This is another leave-in um, that I use. But I don't use it as a leave-in. I use it as like a conditioning spray. Like when I have to refresh in my curls or just want to refresh in my hair, I'll just spritz this in my hair and yeah, I'll do, I'll, I use it like that. But um, yeah, this is just water and then I use this, um, the foam and then I just put the curlers in. So I'm going to sit under the dryer for probably about an hour. I have to go feed the kiddos first, um, have dinner because it's getting late. It's like eight o'clock now. So um let me go do that, and I will be back after my hair is dry. Okay, guys, so it's been about an hour. It's late now. It's like 9 o'clock, a little after 9 o'clock. I fed the kids. 
I had to braid my other son's hair, have dinner and all of that. So while I was braiding his hair, I was up under the dryer. So I just got finished with that. Um, we we'll finished braiding his hair. And now I'm going to see about this roller set and see if it's still going to be crispy like the other time, like the time before. So let's go ahead and take this down and see. And actually, it feels a little better than the previous roller set. Still a little, still a little crunchy though. Still a little crunchy, I must say. Let's see how the rest of the hair does. Yeah, and these are some big rollers, y'all. <laughs> I don't think I, can, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to get under the dryer with the, those beer can rollers. Cause these right here were kind of big. I have one of those bon not the bonnet rollers, the kind where you put over your head and then you tie it. I have one of those kind of um hair dryers, so and I really like it. And I don't want to have to buy another dryer just because my rollers are too big. So we will deal with it for now. But um. Yeah, this is still kind of, it's still kind of hard. It's not, it's still kind of hard, y'all. But I don't think it's, it's not as hard as it was before with the, both the Infusium and the, um, the, um, what you call that stuff? The Rapid Motion. So... I don't know, this might be a might be a no-go for me, this proclaim stuff. I'll have to move on to the next thing and see if um the Cleaver Nature one that I bought is any better. Or maybe foam foams just don't work for me. I don't know. We'll find out though. This is just trial part one. This is all trial and error to find out the best products for my hair. You hear my dog barking? So, yeah, this is, this is a little bit too more stiff than I would like for it to be. So, I'm going to say this Proclaim stuff was a fail. Well, not a fail, but a no-go. Some people might like this, but I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like this, this firm hole stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to wrap my hair tonight, but I am going to go ahead and put some oil on my scalp because I've been under the dryer twice. Once was enough, but twice is a lot, so I'm definitely going to oil my scalp again. Make sure I'm not getting no dry scalp. And it is thoroughly dry. My hair is thoroughly dry. Sat under there for exactly an hour.
This is a good massage for your scalp too. I'm just putting the oil on your scalp after the sitting under the dryer because it's good to stimulate the follicles. So I've heard. <laughs> so I'm just giving my head a quick little massage. So what I'm going to do different this time is I'm going to be putting some of that Kara Care moisturizer on my hair to kind of loosen this up and I'm going to put it on like so it'll be overnight and then what I'm going to do is Bantu, excuse me, Bantu knock this up. So I think I'm just going to put it in like maybe five Bantu knots, like one in the middle here and the middle of my head and then two just to kind of, you know, get some moisture going back in here and get rid of this tightness. It really isn't, you know, the more I mess with it, the more it's like loosening up. It's not so, how you say, crispy <laughs> or, or crunchy. Yeah, the more I play with it, the, the it, it loosens up. So I think putting that moisturizer on will, will definitely, you know, loosen it up by the morning and so i know i'm not gonna have time tomorrow morning because tonight is sunday no i'm not gonna have time in the morning to uh to do a video so what i'll just do is take a picture or i don't know maybe i could you know do something in the car real quick on my way to work and, and show you guys how um how it is but i mean but i guess it's not too bad y'all it's just still a little bit harder than i would like for it to be so, yeah. So I'm just going to keep working with it. I'm going to put this moisturizer. Sorry for the rattling. I'm going to put this camera care in. And like I said, I'm just going to band to knot it up. And I'm going to put my um, body on. And that's going to be it for tonight. I'm not going to put anything else on it. I'm going to see how it does. And next time we will try a different setting lotion. Yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. So it's the next day, and I'm gonna get ready to take down these bantu knots. See if there was any change in. The way my hair feels, and it feels a little bit softer. Thank goodness. Whew. Definitely. You know what? Let me get some oil. Trusty hot oil, hot six oil. Let's put it on my fingertips. And kind of smooth it down. Basically, I just did five, like I said. And I'm just going to loosen them out. Now this really wasn't the look that I was going for, <laughs> Bantu not out, but being that we had that mishap with that setting lotion, 
I was forced to have to do this Bantu knot out style again, which is cute. I mean, I like Bantu knot outs, but I just didn't want another Bantu knot out this week. But it has loosened up a lot. Like it's not as stiff as it was. That cream really helped. But I still don't think that I'll be using that stuff anymore. Really, it's going in the going in the trash, y'all. This was not a complete fail, but pretty much I don't like that stuff. And like I said, I had used that lot of body, the what was it setting lotion, styling lotion. And my hair came out so soft and so bouncy. So, you know, I would think that a foaming lotion would do the same thing. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to try that lot of body and the cream of nature. I have to buy the, the lot of body one, but I have the cream of nature one. So, my next roller set, I will be trying the cream of nature um, setting lotion. But this Proclaim stuff, y'all, no good if you want soft, bouncy hair. This is like, it's too much of a hole for me. Someone else might like it, but I really don't. I mean, my, my Bantu Not Out might last a little longer this week because the stuff is so... It's such a firm hold. I mean, it lasted a week the last time with a lot of body. But, I don't know. What do y'all think? I have to do something with these edges. tell me what do y'all think I just don't like the, the way it feels I mean it looks good <laughs> but I don't like the way it feels so let me know in the comments guys have you ever used this product proclaim foaming lotion what was your take on it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? How did it make your hair feel? Would you buy it again? Um, yeah, all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments and stay tuned for my next roller set and or wash day and roller set where I'll probably use some different products. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, much love. Yes, y'all. <laughs> um, I never did really tell y'all what my final thoughts were on the Joyco. Um, I think I'm going to give Joyco another try. Like I said, I think I don't think it's a good deep conditioner. Uh, I think it's going to be more like a maybe like a five minute treatment for me. Uh, I think the next time I try it, I might add some oils in it. Um, yeah, I do want to try the the moisture therapy one, the blue one. So I'm probably going to buy just a little bottle of that. I'm kind of upset that I have this such a big bottle of this stuff. Um, I think I've learned my lesson now with products now, unless I know that it's really, really a good product. I'm just going to start buying the trial sizes. Even if it is a good deal, I'm going to try to hold out. I mean, this was such a good deal. It was $13 for this. Um, and I think it's like... 17 or something like that normally for this big big size 15 16 17 dollars um even at marshall's and tj maxx but this one was clearance out so that's the only reason i bought it and then my sister told me that it was good stuff but she also was telling me about the blue one um but when i was in there i saw that it was for color treated hair so that's the only reason that i bought this one um but i am going to try the blue line um because everyone's just raving about that but for this, I think I'm just going to be using this as like a five-minute conditioner when I need some um, 
a protein boost or something like that. So it won't be often. It'll probably be like once a month that I use that and um, use this. And probably not as often because I have other protein treatments. So I'll be switching off. So I'm sure this is going to last me quite a while. Um, yeah, just because I have other thing, other protein treatments, you know, that I use. So I'm not going to say that I dislike this just yet. Um, I know I just was expecting a little bit more of a bang <laughs> after that deep conditioning session. And I just, I didn't get it. I didn't think I got it, but my hair does feel stronger. Like I said, after that second time, um, wash. My hair definitely felt um, stronger than it was prior to washing. I noticed that. So I guess it did do something. But um, again, I'm not going to leave this in as like a 30 minute deep conditioner anymore. I'll just use it as like a five minute thing or like a pre-poo or something like that. So yeah, that's my um, my final analysis <laughs> on the Joyco. But um, yeah, my final analysis on this Proclaim stuff don't really care for it um i know there's other better setting lotions out there so this is just going in the trash so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this uh this video and i'll see you in the next one